friends, welcome back to our channel if you're new. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can become one of our cousins. Back with another, no, this is not another. Back with my first makeup tutorial of 2019. Get ready. Because I'm not playing no games with y'all, okay? First makeup tutorial 2019 goes down in history because I'm about to be slaying y'all lives every month, okay? some noise in the background because y'all know I have kids and my wife and all that so I'm literally in my living room sitting here with this cute little backdrop up and I'm about to slay my face for y'all. Bless has his television show on, Gang of the Tiger, you're gonna hear him in the background. My fridge is beeping right now. So it's back there eating. Yeah, this is just real life. This is real life. Say, can you shut the refrigerator? I'm just stopping by to speak. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, boy, watch that now. Nah. I'm just stopping by to speak, you know what I'm saying? Say what up, you know what I'm saying? How about it? Say what up? A simple, natural, glowy, deep makeup look. That's favorite going. L'Oreal Brow Definer Pencil. And the color, what color is this? It literally just came in the mail. This is dark blonde. I didn't even know that was the name of the color. Literally just came in the mail. Uh, my makeup artist told me to go get this. So, And I've been using like um, eye brown eyeshadow to try to do my brows with like a angle brush because I changed the way I do my brows now and I was waiting for this pencil to come in the mail and it literally just came in. So it's perfect timing because I can do my brows the way I want to do that, right? But yeah, I'm going to be doing these makeup um, videos consistently. Like, this is a thing. Like, I'm, like I told y'all, y'all seen my vlog and I was like, I'm not playing with myself, you know. I'm really finna be killing it. So that's what I'm going to do. I need to focus on doing these brows, so give me a second. But I do my brows so much different now. I love the, like the natural hair stroke look, so that's what I'd be doing, and that's what this uh, pencil allows me, helps me to achieve. So I really love it. Um, but yeah, it's just you know the brow looks so natural. Like I don't, I'm, I don't really like the whole filled in look anymore. Like because I like my makeup to look. Just look, you know, supernatural. Tarte concealer and tan deep. And then I'm gonna mix that with the LA Pro Girl Fawn. This was like my go-to, but I like to mix them together. We go, we go again. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Come my bluff, I'ma be you till the end. I'm the one you ride. I'm the one you ride to. If you don't wanna change, ain't no place to hide. Ain't no one to run to. Alright, so y'all see how natural these brows look. This is what I like. If you guys are interested in like an updated brow tutorial, because my brows, I do do my brows way different than how I used to do them in the past. They're super light. I use less product. Um, then I'll give you guys an in-depth tutorial if you're interested in that. I'm going to go back in with that same Tarte concealer in the color Deep Tan. And I'm going to um, line my eyelid so that I can put a, just a little bit of shadow, like nothing much. Because for my natural look, I never really do too much. So that's what I'm, I'm just going to blend this out. Concealer with black radiant soft focus. This is in the color almond. I can help you out. I can help you out. I can help you. This is the uh, Ace Beauty palette, and I'm gonna go in with the color cinnamon. 
which is right there, right there. I'm gonna put this in my crease, as you can see. And on the eyelid. But I'm not gonna pack it on because I don't want it to look extra. around the eyebrow and where I put the shadow just so that it can all blend together here we go here we go again this is the touch and soul no problem primer I'm just gonna prime my face with this y'all my skin has been so dry like I'm gonna do an updated skincare routine because y'all know I just had fever and my script my skin was like going through a transition but it's not good like it's not a pretty transition it might look fine right here because i really like moisturized it early this morning when i got out the shower but it's really not good this is literally my go-to foundation i've been using this for years because when i love something i love it and i'm like loyal to it and i don't switch up um there's like two foundations that i've been switching back and forth from for years and this is just one of them Maybelline Fit Me 355 Coconut. I did um, my mother-in-law's makeup the other day and I killed it and I'm so psyched about it because she doesn't wear makeup like she's not, um, but she's never worn makeup before like ever. It was her first time wearing makeup. Um, and I slayed her face and she really, really loved it. And it was just awesome because I don't know if you guys ever done somebody's makeup who's never had makeup before like that. Their opinion matters because it's like, it's something new for them, you know? Like they're looking at themselves in a different way because they never had this stuff on their face. So for her to really love it and for me to actually, you know, create this flawless look, I was just so pumped and super confident. It just made me gain more confidence in my work. You yes. look amazing. <laughs> And I'm calling up my friend. What's your thoughts on people putting makeup on their forehead? My skin is like on my face, it's all one color. Like, I don't, my forehead isn't that, like, it's not like really, really dark compared to my face. Like, you know how some people's faces is like their forehead is like super dark and then their face is like really light? I'm not one of those people. Like, my, I feel like my skin is really even on my face. So. I always put foundation on my forehead. Ain't no wonder why, ain't no wonder why to. Here we go, here we go again. Call me up and you wanna be my. Beauty blender is wet and I'm just about to blend all of this out, getting it together. You want to go outside? Hmm? Come here. Look at my honey. Look at his hair. <laughs> look at, look. Say hey. Because suede mocha is really, really dark, you know, and I don't like, 
I like my con my contour to you know look really clean. And I'm just gonna blend this upward because let me tell you what I learned about contour. I used, to, I used to like blend my contour either with like a makeup brush and I would just go like this, right? Which left my contour with no shape. Or sometimes, you know, I would do it downward and then then, all, then my whole face looks like it's falling. What I learned is that when you're doing your contour, you have to blend upwards. Keep the shape though. Like you don't want to like, you don't want to smudge it. You just want to tap it upwards basically. Because you want to keep the shape. You want to keep that nice shape. You see? Because you want you want your shape, your face to be shaped really nicely. So that's just a tip that I learned that I'm giving to y'all. Dropping jewels. this contour like black opal is one of my favorite makeup brands it's really good for brown skin like really pretty i really really like this i'm gonna go and set this concealer with the sasha buttercup this is also another one of my go-to's i used to use ben Eye, like that used to be my go-to and then i got introduced to this and i feel like this works so much better for brown skin and i've never i feel like everybody used uses um laura mercier but i've never used it before only because i feel like it's so white that it might not look good on my skin since i'm like dark you know so, but the sasha buttercup is like the perfect color for brown skin and it's not going to give you that flashback when you're taking a picture you're not going to look white under the eyes you don't want that like you want it to look really really nice and blend perfectly so I definitely do recommend this. I've been using this ever since it came out. <laughs> like I literally gave up Ben Eye as soon as it came out when I tried it and I was like, this is perfect. This is so much better. In a place to hide, in a wanna run to. If you this is the pretty vulgar the ink. It's a black gel liner. It's amazing. No. Like look at the difference between my eye. I feel like it opens your eye up more. I'm gonna use MAC Skin Finish uh, in the color Medium Deep, and I'm just going to use this to, um, you know, get rid of the Sasha Buttercup. Perfect natural skin, it's skin finish, like skin color for brown skin. It's everything. It looks really, really, good already you know when i'm almost done okay, with the lord jeller the baked blush brighten this is actually a where i get this from target but it's really really good i love it a blush and a highlight all in one look at that it's so pretty it's so glowy glowy and blushy I love it. I'm gonna take it back, way back to my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is ruined, but this is the only color that I use. I feel like it's so perfect for my skin complexion. I actually like to mix these these two together. What is it? Sunburst and Golden Bronze. I can help you. I contour my nose. I'm gonna go back in with that hazelnut by Black Opal, and I'm just going to line my nose real quick. I'm dropping stuff. remember where I got it from though but I might have had it for a long time I have a, a lot of my stuff I had for a very long time and I don't be putting it to you so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on like in the center just to give me a little bit co of color because since I put that liner on my lips are just super dark so it's a little bit in the center this actually s smells really good Ooh. 
smells really good. Mm. See? Just, just to give me some color, you know? Just a little bit. This clear gloss by e.l.f. Lips to be popping. Look at that. That's really pretty. I'm going with the Mario setting spray. <laughs> I just did this. Oh! So I'm going to set my face with this. Let's go. I feel like I'm going to have to buy a lot of this because I just got it and look how much I used already. I just feel like I OD with setting spray, but I really, really love it. Oh, I'm so proud of this. A tip for every girl that wears lash extensions. Get my lash extensions by VIP Lash Extension on Instagram. Lash extensions, and you do your makeup and you're using eyeshadow, or even the fact that I prime my eyes, I got a little bit of fallout on my, um, on my lash and to clean that up I just use black shadow and a flat brush and I just swipe my lashes just so it can get them back you know jet black like I want them and so the makeup it fades the makeup or blends it in or something whatever it, whatever it does it does the trick that's just what I do when I get make makeup on my lashes Because I don't want to be out here with like spots, you know, all over my lashes. Spots of brown makeup. That's not cute. And also just by brushing them out, it made them, you know, look really fuller and better.